What's going on, y'all? Uh, I know I haven't done a video in a while. Uh, my GPU went out in my iMac. Uh, it took a while to get it fixed, and I've just been backed up ever since then. Uh, but today is the day. Uh, PreSonus announced Studio One version 3 today, and I'm going to show you how to add thumbnails to your third-party plugins. So I got to give a shout out to Dr. Do Music because I was trying to figure this out for about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, I had a chat with him earlier and you know, we talked about it. And he showed me how to do it. So now I'm going to show you all how to do it. So in Studio One version 3, if you look at the, at the stock plugins that it comes with, you'll notice that you've got thumbnails now for all of your plugins. And I've added thumbnails for all my Waves plugins. I've added them for my uh, Soft 2 plugins. And I'm going to show you how to add those for third party. So what you do is take the plugin, the plugin that you want to add it for. Now, I haven't found an easier way to do this. I had to literally load each individual plugin into Studio One and do this. Uh, but you, you know, add your plugin. And this drop down here, you've got an option that says Update Thumbnail. And there it is. So in doing this, I have had some plugins, some of these SSL plugins in the Duende bundle. You see the ones that don't have a thumbnail under them, like Vocal Strip and XComp. Uh, they crash Studio One uh, when I try to load them. Also, my Metric Halo plugins crashed when I tried to load them. Uh, but all my soft tube uh, worked fine. Uh, all my waves worked fine. And actually, I think I forgot to do sound toys. But uh, one thing I want to head that I encountered when doing this when just grabbing like my waves plugins each one by one and dragging them in and doing this I did come across where I got like a mashup of the GUI of the plugin that I was trying to load and the one that I loaded previously um, if you get that uh, don't freak out just reload the plugin again and it should work fine uh, but there you go that's how you add thumbnails to your third-party plugins uh, we'll be doing more uh, videos for version three uh, just getting into it um, once I get a hold of the change log and see exactly what's changed I'll do a video uh, my my traditional 30 new features for studio one version three um, I'm gonna also probably do a first impressions video uh, I got a couple mixes I'm working on now and I got a couple online courses I'm working on but once I get caught up I'll get some more videos out there all right I'll catch y'all next time